everyone. It's Diane Maynus at Gigi's Kitchen. Welcome back. This week we're going to do one of um, my daughter's favorite, and that is Alfredo sauce. Alfredo sauce sounds a little intimidating, but actually it really isn't. It's pretty easy to put together. Um, it's just a matter of getting the right ingredients and letting it simmer slowly as opposed to trying to rush uh, the process. Uh, I've already got a pot of water started over here. Uh, today I'm going to use this Italian imported pasta. It's a bronze die cut pasta and it's almost, instead of a round shape, it's a square shape and they're nice and long. And this is going to allow the sauce to kind of just roll over top of them and get it all mixed in together. So you're going to see what that looks like in a little bit. So come on in, let's get started. I posted the ingredients earlier in the week. Um, we have butter, we have heavy whipping cream, and we have a few different kinds of cheeses, um, mostly Parmesan. There is a little Asiago over here that I might top it with after the fact. So we're going to start by putting in here. Let's go ahead and get a, um, this is two cups of the heavy whipping cream. There is nothing low fat about this dish, by the way, but it is yummy. A little bit goes a long way. Um, today I'm going to serve it as a side to some ham but it also makes a wonderful side to Shane's chicken, and you remember Shane's chicken from earlier in the month as well. Um, so that's two cups, a stick of butter, and we're gonna go ahead over here and we're gonna let this, I already have this on low, we're gonna let this warm up, and we're waiting for the pot of water to simmer as well. And as soon as this starts to melt all together, slowly it will start to simmer and then we'll be back and show you what we're gonna do with the cheese. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're continuing with the Alfredo sauce. I've got the half and half in here and the butter, and it started to simmer, and it's in, in a nice simmer, so I'm gonna turn it nice and low. I'm gonna start adding some of the cheeses to it. I've got some grated cheese, so we're gonna go ahead and add some of that. And then I've got some some of these shaved cheese. I like the shaved cheese in it. It, it just kind of melts a little bit differently than the shredded. So we'll add some of that in there. Now in Italy, one of the things that they add to their sauce is they add a little bit of nutmeg to it. My family doesn't prefer the nutmeg, so we're gonna leave that out tonight because we're gonna have, this is gonna be, um, serve with a side of ham, so we'll leave the nutmeg out, but I do like the nutmeg in it. And we're just going to keep slowly adding cheese to it. Get it boiling again. Make sure you keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And what we're looking for is we want all of this gooeyness to be gone. It's all going to be blended in and, and made into the sauce. So it takes a little bit of time to do. We're just going to watch it as it simmers. The other thing you could do with Alfredo is you can absolutely chop up some grilled chicken, throw grilled chicken in there. Um, sometimes I'll throw some broccoli in there and make it like a broccolini cream sauce. And, um, you know, I use the Alfredo as the base to, to my Rosa sauce, which Rosa is a little bit Alfredo with some chunky tomato and like a, a marinara sauce I add to it. And it's pretty yummy too. So we have all kinds of versions that you could make in here. This is also partly part of my Tuscan sauce that I make. And the Tuscan sauce that I make has um, sun-dried tomatoes in it. I put mushrooms and I wilt spinach in it and it is yummy too. And someday we'll make that and I'll show you what kind of pasta I put that on. Okay, so it looks like this is coming along. You can see the cheese is melting. So little by little we'll just add a little bit more cheese. Now, where do I get my cheese from? Well, I don't have an Italian store here in, um, in Albemarle, North Carolina. 
a lot of times when I go home, I grab some cheese when I'm home, and I'll bring some some fresh Italian imported Parmesan cheese straight directly from Pennsylvania, or I'll drive to Charlotte. Sometimes I can find it in Charlotte. Um, I love any kind of Parmesan. The nuttier, the better. I tell a story. My son came back from Italy one time and brought a hunk of Parmesan cheese that was something I had never tasted in my life. And it makes me want to go there just to get the Parmesan cheese. So, okay, it looks like we're just about done. You can see it's starting to, to get thick now, right? So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add the pasta. This is the, the pasta that I had made earlier. Let me go ahead and add that in there. didn't rinse the pasta off because I like the starch that's on the pasta. The starch that's on the pasta is going to thicken the, um, the Alfredo even more. So if you come in here and you see, doesn't that look just yummy, 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 yummy. Turn this down a minute and let it kind of all soak in together. I'm going to grab a piece of bread, and I'm going to dunk a piece of bread in here just to see what the Alfredo tastes like. Mm. It's exactly what I wanted. It's so good. Let's go ahead and uh, so easy to make. Let's put a little bit in here just to taste it. Again, I'm going to serve it tonight on top of ham. I would have just made it fresh and put it on the table, but being that we're doing this, we'll have it in a little bit. Let me go ahead. I have today some Robert Madalby, and it's a Cabernet. I like Cab. Put a little bit of that. And I like dogs. So let's go ahead and taste that. Okay, so one more tip. This is sauteed peas and onions. Logan loves peas and onions in her Alfredo, and what we would do, we'd serve this on the side, and then you can add it to the pasta in your dish so that you can have a little bit of peas and onions in there as, as a secondary flavoring. And like I said, chicken's good in there too. You can see these are the longer noodles. I'm going to steal this spoon. A little bit goes a long way on this one because it's going to twirl. Look at that. Perfect twirl. All right. texture of the pasta. It's a perfect shape for Alfredo sauce. My family is going to love it. And all I can say is, it's good. See you next week.